Hello, I'm Zara Bardai from the Woodbridge Medical Center Family Health Team. Recently, women in our practice have reported fears and concerns over the cervical cancer screening changes. The purpose of this project is to empower women with knowledge. The following is an education series to provide a general understanding of women's pelvic health. Pelvic infections, the nasties. Every now and then, you may have an itch or a drip. There are various infections that can occur down there, which are more common than you may think. Let's take a look at the possible critters that may inhabit your vaginal tract. Yeast is a fungal infection. There are many non-harmful causes of yeast, which include antibiotics, hormonal changes, and change in sexual partners. The signs and symptoms of a yeast infection include vulvar and vaginal itching, redness and swelling, thick, white, cottage cheese-like discharge. Your vagina has normal bacteria. However, an overgrowth can lead to an infection known as bacterial vaginosis. Potential causes of this overgrowth include hormonal changes, multiple or new sexual partners, cigarette smoking, and poor vaginal hygiene. Possible signs and symptoms are a foul, fishy odor, an increase in thin, watery, off-white vaginal discharge. Both yeast and bacterial vaginosis are only treated if symptomatic. They are not considered to be sexually transmitted. However, yeast can be passed on to partners. If this is the first time you are experiencing symptoms, don't consult Dr. Internet. Speak with your healthcare provider. It is important to have open communication with partners about your sexual histories, as there are many infections that can be transmitted. Some go unnoticed, as you may not experience symptoms. The three sexually transmitted infections, STIs, that are commonly tested during a pelvic exam are chlamydia, gonorrhea, and trichomoniasis. The cause of STIs is unprotected oral, vaginal, and or anal intercourse. This includes sharing contaminated sex toys. Using a latex or polyurethane condom or barrier is the only highly effective way of preventing STI transmission. Chlamydia and gonorrhea are bacterial infections. They are treatable. 78% of women do not show symptoms. However, if symptoms develop, they include vaginal itchiness and discharge, lower abdominal pain, urinary frequency and pain, bleeding with intercourse and in-between periods. Trichomoniasis is an infection caused by a parasite and is almost always symptomatic. The symptoms you might experience include increased vaginal discharge, a yellowish green, thin and foamy with a foul odor, itchiness, redness, pain with urination, and discomfort during intercourse. Though these are the most commonly tested, there are various other STIs that require additional testing and treatment. It is important to contact your healthcare provider if you have any questions or concerns about recent exposures or symptoms. While urinary tract infections, UTIs, are not considered to be sexually transmitted, they can be linked to sexual activity in women. As you recall from episode one, the space between the urethra and the anus is short and contributes to the transmission of bacteria into the bladder. So sorry ladies, just one more thing we gotta deal with. Common signs and symptoms of UTIs to discuss with your provider include pain with urination, urinary frequency and urgency, blood in the urine, fevers, pelvic pain and back pain. Congratulations, you've survived the nasties. Come back out for our fourth and final episode, Cervical Cancer Screening Guidelines, What's Happening? <laughs>